Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, August 10th, 2019 edition. So I get asked all the time for drama recommendations and I usually just answer with my favorites, which those of you who have followed my channel for a while would know includes titles like Nirvana and Fire and All Is Well among others. But the thing is, not everyone's taste is the same as mine and therefore not everyone's gonna like those dramas that I recommend. So I was thinking another way of recommending dramas is by general popularity or number of views. According to Chinese entertainment website Sina, there are 9 dramas that have broken 25 billion views. These are the total online views of every episode and includes all platforms like Tencent, Youku, YouTube, etc. And it's actually quite impressive when you consider it doesn't even include TV views or views from unofficial streaming sites. So without further ado, here are the 9 dramas that you might want to check out if you want to follow the crowd, so to speak. Number 9. Love O2O Love O2O is a modern romance drama starring Yang Yang and Chen Shuang. It tells the story of two popular college students who fall in love through an online RPG game. The 30-episode drama premiered in August 2016 and has 25 billion views to date. There have been many modern romance dramas with gaming premises throughout the years, but Love O2O pretty much set the standard. If you're a fan of this summer's Go Go Squid and are looking for something along the same vein but less fluffy, maybe give Love O2O a shot. Number 8, O to Joy 2. O to Joy 2 is of course the sequel to O to Joy, and the series stars Liu Tao, Rulu Jiang, Olivia Wang, Yang Zi, and Bridget Tiao. It tells the story of five ladies living in O to Joy, an apartment complex in Shanghai, and their experience in love and work as independent modern women. The 52 episode drama premiered in May 2017 and has almost 27.6 billion views to date. The series has been hailed as China's answer to the American series Sex in the City, so if that sounds like something you might be interested in, maybe give it a shot. Number 7, Noble Aspirations. Noble Aspirations is a costume drama starring Li Yifeng and Zhao Liying. It tells the story of a kid whose entire village is massacred and he is taken in by the righteous Qingyun sect. The 58 episode drama premiered on July 2016 and has 27.9 billion views to date. The drama spawned a sequel and there is currently a movie adaptation of it in the works called Jade Dynasty, which stars Xiao Zhan and Li Qing. Number 6, The Princess Wei Yang. Princess Wei Yang is a costume drama starring Tiffany Tang and Luo Qing. It tells the story of the Princess of Northern Liang, who seeks revenge against the people who annihilated her kingdom. The 54 episode drama premiered on November 2016 and has over 27.9 billion views to date. Even though it was one of the highest rated dramas of 2016, it received criticism for how dog-blooded it was. For those of you who don't know, dog-blooded is Chinese slang for excessively cliché. Nonetheless, it has 30 billion views, so it must have done something right. Number 5, The Legend of Mi Yue. The Legend of Mi Yue is an historical drama starring Sun Li and Liu Tao. It chronicles the life of Mi Yue, who became the first empress dowager in China's history. The 80 episode drama premiered on November 2015 and has 28.7 billion views to date. Sun Li is one of my favorite Chinese actresses, so I always recommend her dramas, if nothing just to watch her performances. Legend of Mi Yue revolves mainly around inner palace schemes and machinations, so check it out if that's that's your thing. Number 4, Fighter of the Destiny. Fighter of the Destiny is a costume drama starring Lu Han and Guli Naja. It tells the story of a man who cultivates his powers to save the human world from demons. The 52 episode drama premiered in April 2017 and has 30.1 billion views to date. The drama was panned by critics for the two lead actors poor acting and also for not staying true to the novel. However, it still has massive viewership and much of that is attributed to the Lu Han effect which refers to the idol's huge fan base. Number 3, In the Name of the People. In the Name of the People is a political drama starring Lu Yi and Zhang Feng Yi. It chronicles the internal power struggle of the Chinese Communist Party and features stories about oftenly discussed Chinese politics. The 52 episode drama premiered in March 2017 and has 34.1 billion views to date. I checked out this drama when it first came out and actually found it intriguing, but it is a serious political drama and that's not everyone's cup of tea. Number 2, Princess Agents. Princess Agents is a costume drama starring Zhao Liying and Lin Kunxing. It tells the story of a slave girl who eventually trains to become a skillful spy. The 68 episode drama premiered in June 2017 and has 48.2 billion views to date. 
For my observation, this is the drama with the most requested sequel, and that is mainly because the drama ended with a cliffhanger, which left audiences hungry and frustrated. At the moment, there is nothing in the works for a sequel. No script, no cast, no nothing, and part of that is because there are copyright issues to be sorted out. Rest assured, I will update everyone on this when something is announced. And number one, you guessed it, Eternal Love. Eternal Love, also known as 10 Miles of Peach Blossoms, is a fantasy costume drama starring Yang Mi and Mark Chow. It tells the story of two deities and their romance that transcends three lifetimes. The 58 episode drama premiered in January 2017 and has a whopping 52.3 billion views to date. The drama really needs no introduction. It is known for its epic love story and beautiful scenery. If you're new to Chinese costume dramas and haven't seen this one, well, this is the place to start. Of course, the drama has heavy elements of romance and fantasy, so you'd have to be into that kind of stuff to like it. So as you can see, the list is dominated by costume dramas, and the good news is they're all readily available on YouTube with English subs, so you don't have to search high and low for them. Which ones have you seen? Which one did you like? And which one made you think, how the heck did it make this list? Let me know in the comment section below. And now it's time for me to answer a question from one of you, a fan who supports my channel with a dollar or more by contributing on Patreon. Today's question comes from Karen Ling, who asks, Hi Marcus, are there any news on Zhao Lusi and Ding Yuxi's drama, The Third Princess from the Rumors? Good question, Karen. The Third Princess from the Rumors is an upcoming costume drama starring Zhao Lusi and Ding Yuxi, and it started filming recently, either in late July or early August. There wasn't any official announcement of a booting ceremony. In fact, there isn't much info about this drama out there at all. No promo materials, no production stills, not even a real synopsis. I did, however, scour Weibo and found a short behind the scenes clip which featured the two stars seemingly preparing for a shot. The drama is slated for an 80 day shoot which will take them into mid November. And on Chinese review site Douban, it is listed for an April 1st, 2020 premiere. I wouldn't put too much stock in that though. Like I've said in previous videos, no one knows when a drama is going to premiere until much closer to the actual premiere date. Thanks Karen for your question and thank you everyone for watching. This channel wouldn't be possible without your support, whether it's through Patreon or just simply by watching, commenting, and sharing. Subscribe and like, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Cheers!